welcome back to Orit's Kitchen and I'm Orit. I hope you guys are all doing well with this whole coronavirus thing going around. I hope you guys are safe and your family members are safe. Um, thank you so much for all those healthcare workers in the hospitals and the clinics that are working so hard to make sure everybody is okay and safe and surviving. Um, so thank you for everybody. Um, okay, so now that is all taken care of. The reason you guys are here is for another fabulous episode by me. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be explaining how to make a cannoli, a kid-friendly cannoli. Now you can change it up if you'd like. You guys can put um, meat inside of it, um, but my kids want it vegetarian style because my nuts are picky. So I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. So let's get started. I've um, already pre-made it, okay, and um, because it does take some time, um, and so um, as I'm talking, of course, Gabby, as usual, will be posting pictures of it for me, okay? So this is the cannoli. For, now, there's different packages. You don't necessarily have to get this package, but this is what a cannoli looks like okay looks like a little like a tube okay there are smaller sizes but i like the bigger ones because i get to stuff it and it's really cute it looks like a cute presentation and then something different for the kids to eat right so basically you just make you cook the cannoli as described in the package okay and um and once the cannoli once the cannoli is like doing its thing you can actually get the main thing ready to go for the stuffing part okay so my kids like mushrooms so i sauteed mushrooms on the side now if there's other types of vegetables that you guys would prefer go for it if you guys want some meat go for it clean uh, cook some meat um, ground meat in the pot with some oil crumble it up you can add some spices like garlic powder salt and pepper that's all you really need okay so as I was saying, I got mushrooms, okay? I got mushrooms and then I got minced onions and I cooked them together, okay? And then um, once that kind of became a little bit um, soft, I also added some um, garlic in it just to get the flavor going. You can, you know, just put them all together. It's not that of a big deal. And then one of the main ingredients that I also added was diced tomatoes in tomato juice, okay? So I added that. Now you guys can add fresh tomatoes as well, chop it up, dump that in there as well. Um, but I just got the can ready to go and I put that in there, okay? So then you, what you also need to do is you're going to be adding uh, marinara sauce. You can put the marinara sauce of your choice. I, for example, will use this one or other ones that are out there. They all taste great to me. My kids just, they don't really care as long as it's like marinara, okay? So if there's a preference, whatever but this is the one I can use as well and you dump all of that in together with a pot and then last but not least you also add the chicken consomme now remember guys it's also suitable for vegetarians okay so don't trip out by saying it's just like chicken okay so you can use consomme suitable for vegetarians remember add a little bit because it can tend to be salty and the marinara sauce are usually a bit salty as well so watch out how much you put that so you cook the whole thing together, the sauce and the onions, the garlic, everything together and on low heat, let it grasp its flavor, yummy, yummy. What I also did was I put cheese in it. You can use any type of cheese you want. I use the Colby Jack cheese. You can use mozzarella, Parmesan, whatever floats your boat. Sprinkle that inside the pot while it's warm, let it melt. Why did I do that? Because that way it, it gets a little harder and it's easier for me to stuff the cannoli. Okay, so I put some cheese, get it all nice and yummy and juicy. And then once the cannoli is cooled down and my sauce is ready with the cheese, then I put it together. Okay, so you're gonna get your pan. Um, you can um, spray some oil on it, not stick oil or, not, or foil if you want so that it doesn't stick. And as a picture, I hold the cannolis at the, there at the end of it. That way when I stuff it in, the tomato sauce and stuff doesn't come out. You hold the bottom and then you slowly stuff it in, okay? So I put the cannoli, I put it, if you want, put some more layer of the sauce, um, put some cheese, whatever you guys want, put some sauce, layer it again with the cannoli, put some sauce, and then it's kind of like a lasagna in a way. And then that's it. You put it in the oven, you cover it up at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, um, then about, towards the end, which is about an hour or so, 
You can take the cover off, put it under broil, right on the broil, right? And then the oven is at the very top. So make sure that your pan is on top where the broil is so that the top layer of the cheese that's on the top can get a little bit crispy. That's what I like, okay? And that's it. Within about an hour, you have a fabulous, fabulous cannoli that's great for everybody, including kids. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Ori's Kitchen. Bye.